The Tour de France is over 2,000 miles long with a winning time of roughly 90 hours and an average speed of approximately 25 miles an hour. How can the riders hold that pace for three weeks of racing? Because of the effects of drafting and pace lines. Drafting is a skill that you too can learn. Start off by riding between six inches to one foot behind the rider in front of you. Be sure not to overlap wheels and ride as close as you first feel comfortable. Learning to ride close to another rider's wheel is a matter of experience and takes practice. Once you get comfortable with drafting, you're ready to move on to a variety of pace lines. The most basic formation is a single pace line. This is where a single line of riders each ride behind a lead rider. Another simple formation is a double pace line. This is where two lines of riders ride and the rotation occurs when the lead riders simultaneously pull off. A more advanced formation is a rotating pace line. If you are the lead rider of the faster line, you should cross over to the slower line after passing the front wheel of the rider beside you. If the wind is from the side, your rotating pace line will become an echelon. Riders in an echelon will be offset like geese in flight. In all pace line or echelon scenarios, it is important to maintain a constant speed. For more info and tips on how to keep yourself and others safe, head on over to roadid.com forward slash road rules.